Okay, very similar to before, solving simple step equations. This time we just have multi steps, so solving simple equations. So in this question, the idea is to isolate for x, very similar to what we just done in the other two simple equation questions. But when going through this, it's important we remember our bed mass. Because this will actually come in handy on letting us know what to move. It usually helps us in the order to move things. Now, you can technically move in any order, but it simplifies things for us. The first thing we want to do normally in bed mass is we want to deal with any brackets. Are there any brackets in this question? Any exponents? No. Any division or multiplication? What's this mean? Okay. Normally we deal with that first, so you would think to move that first. But it'll actually be easier if we always start at the bottom of bed mass when rearranging an equation. Okay. So do I have any addition or subtraction here? What do I have? Positive 25. Okay. This positive 25 is going to be the first thing I probably want to move. Okay. Now in order to balance the equation when doing this, we what would be the opposite of positive 25? Negative 25, right? So we'd have negative 25 on one side of the equal sign and negative 25 on the other side. On the left side, positive and negative 25 are going to do what? Yeah, create a zero. So we'll be left with 5x is equal to 475. So now what do we have left? This is a what type of question? Multiplication. In order to move the 5, remember we're still trying to isolate for x, in order to move that 5, what operation do we have to use? That's right, we have to divide. So we're going to divide this side by 5 and this side by 5. Now when I divide 5x by the number 5, what do we get? Yeah, x or 1x. And 475 divided by 5. What is it? 95. Excellent. So, in this question, x is equal to 95. We'll do another example of a different way to do this. Okay. But we just use opposite operations. 5x plus 25 is equal to 500. Okay. Same idea of your reverse bed mass. We want to move positive 25. In order to move positive 25 to the other side, what operation do we use? What do we use? Subtract. So when it goes to the other side, we have 5x is equal to 500. Subtract 25. Okay. Which will give us 5x is equal to 475. And because this is a multiplication question, 5 times x, how do we move the 5 to the other side? What do we use? Division. We divide by 5. So again, very similar methods. When we divide this by 5, we get 95. Now, we want to check our answer. In both cases, we got 95, so it's probably right. We're going to plug it back in for the variable of x. One second. So when we do this, we take our original equation, 5x plus 25 is equal to 500. Now, we know this is multiplication. And we want to replace the value of x with 95. Okay. So this is going to now say 5 times 95 plus 25 equals 500. Let's see if this is true. What's 5 times 95? That's right. It's 475 plus 25 equals 500. And what's 475 plus 25? 500. So is this true? Is 500 equal to 500? Yes. Yeah. So we've checked our answer. We know that it's correct. 